KCCI Executive Director Dorothy Chisaka has tasked the city leaders to work together if the bigger agenda of making Kampala a smart city is to be achieved. Her comment comes at a time when KCCI technocrats are in constant disagreements with their colleagues in the political wing. We are going to work together. That's the commitment from the executive, from the technical side. We are committed to make this relationship work and to deliver on the mandate that has been given to us. Chisaka also highlighted that there is need for KCCA to create councils at various levels to offer assistance in administering Kampala City. We are all aware that the law says we should have the division councils, but that is not the only council that is supposed to be there. We are also supposed to have the ward urban councils. These are currently not constituted, and so there is a gap in our effectiveness as leaders of the city. The Minister for Kampala Capital City, Minsa Kabanda, equally emphasized the need for unity among all KCCA stakeholders. Uh, but my observation is technical people, you respect politicians because you don't respect them. You also don't respect us as ministers because sometimes things. We just look at things over the television. Sometimes we are not aware of what is taking place in Kampala. I think we also need to know what is taking place in Kampala as ministers. Kampala Capital City Lord Mayor Arias Lukwago says hawkers should only be regulated and given working spaces in the city and not sent away. We are the ones who are, who are allowed, who are given powers to regulate street vending, to say yes, you can do it from here and in such and such a manner and in a decent way. None of us would like to have a disorganized city. Lukwago also decreed the function of the law enforcement unit in the city. He says politicians have several been accused of politicizing the issue of law enforcement in the city, which should not be the case. Honorable Minister, I have searched around and I stand to be guided. How can we preside over a system where we have a law enforcement city team which has no legal backing, legal framework. Honorable members, this one, this one thing which has really perturbed me. Kampala Capital City Authority was established in 2011 by Parliament, replacing the Kampala City Council, and is responsible for the operations of the metropolis. Daniel Kibet, NTV.